Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this uh, nozzle in Fusion 360. So one of my subscriber uh, mailed emailed me and provided this drawing and some photos and asked me that if I can make this. So I I gave it a try. So here it is. Uh, so basically he provided me some uh, uh, photos of the this nozzle. This plastic part I guess. So basically, it it uh, it gets a circular profile at the bottom, and it's uh, get lofted towards this rectangular profile at the top. The thickness is overall thickness is constant, the 3 mm thickness, or I think uh, yeah, 3 mm. The thickness is 3 mm. So all he provided was this view. If you just look at this view, this is the front view of the profile with a star cut out. Uh, it's, it's the purpose is to lock. So uh, as we just can see, the bottom dia. He has provided the internal dia and the out outside dia, and similarly the top view here, the inside thickness and the outside thickness. The total height is 40 plus 25 is 65, and the distance from this point to this point is 25, and distance from this here to here is 40 mm. And here's the dimension of the this cutout, too, which we will make in later part of the video. So. So first of all what we will do we will start by making this circle and uh, we are not going to make this part hollow we are going to uh, at the at, at uh, once more uh, we are going to make this part as a solid body and then in the last we are going to uh, shell this component to give it a constant thickness of 3 mm so what i will do is i will start with uh, the uh, making a circle of outer diameter 49.7 and then i'm gonna extrude it to a distance of 25 and then i will more proceed with making this profile so what i have to do is draw a circle of 49.7 and extrude it up to a distance of 25 so switch back to new workspace click on create a sketch and click on the front plane and from press c for circle and from origin point draw a circle of 49.7 diameter and finish the sketch and then extrude it extrude this up to a distance of select new component up to a distance of 25 and press ok now once done what i have to do is i am going to make this upper profile the top view as given here so it's basically a 40 mm above this plane so i'm going to create a plane above this profile 40 mm offset plane and then i'm going to draw this 63 uh, wide sketch so for that construct a plane and click on this face offset face and offset distance would be 40 and again go to create a sketch and here so what i am going to do is go to construction line press l and draw one vertical line like this and one horizontal line like this then go to create go to slot uh, center to center slot and then from this point to this point create a slot and don't forget to uh, switch off the construction line and like this so once done press d for dimension as you guys can see the inside thickness is 8 mm and uh, like i've said earlier we don't have to uh, uh, worry about the inside thickness so we will uh, concern about the we are concerned about the outer thickness so outer thickness is 14 mm so that means from this point to this point the distance is 14 mm and similarly you can see that uh, uh, the dia of this circle is also 14 mm so what we are going to do and also the distance from this point the outer of the circle and this point is 63 mm so for that what we are going to do we are going to make this dimension as 14 mm now as you guys can see uh, I'm just going to drag it uh, like this make sure it's in the middle of the circle as you can see it's not right now it's not in the middle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, the first of all I'm going to make parallel relationship between this line and this line now it's in the middle now the next thing is to make the symmetric relationship so i want this both of these points symmetric to the center line so click on first point and the second point and the symmetric line 
now it gets it, it is now symmetric with the point so in fusion 360 if i just click on this point and this point as you guys can see it, i can only alter the center distance but not the distance from this arc to this arc so what i'm going to do i'm going to find the center distance so center distance can easily be measured by looking at the top view as you guys can see the dia is dia of this circle the dia uh, the distance from the outer to the outer profile is 63 as given here and the dia is the so dia is uh, 14 that means the radius the center radius is 7 so the distance from here to here is you can can, can easily measure by 63 minus 14 is 49 so if i just make this 49 uh, this automatically becomes 63 so once completed just click on finish the sketch go to back to isometric view now what i am going to do is i am going to create another sketch on this plane uh, the dimension uh, has not been provided so what i am going to do is i am going to project this command press p for project and project this line and this line and press ok once projected what you have to do is again make a center line like this and draw a circle press c for circle and draw a circle of any dimension here go to tangent and give it tangent to the outer profile like this and to this line also and to this line also now once done go to mirror select this circle the mirror line would be the construction line and press ok now press t for trim and remove the excess part like this so that it get closed and click on finish sketch now as you guys can see we have two sketch one is here and another one here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a loft here's the loft select this profile and this one as you guys can see what it will do it will create a loft okay so but before that one thing also uh, one thing it needs to be done before loft what we are going to do we are going to extrude that up to a distance of 30 mm because if I, if I just look at the front view here's the front view uh, this guy has provided us the dimension from this point to this point is 25 and this point to the top point 40 mm so but here he didn't provide us the dimension from this point to the this point so what I'm going to do I'm, I have assumed that the dimension from this point to this point is 30 and rest is left is 20 at 10 mm so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on extrude and i'm going to just switch off the sketch for now extrude it up to a distance of 30 mm and press ok bring back the sketch now for now just switch off the body so you guys can select this uh, uh, loft so go to create go to loft select this the profile 1 and profile 2 now switch on the body now you guys can see the operation currently set is set to cut so drag the bar down and the operation would be join now as you guys can see it is creating loft with a straight line but if you look closely at the profile this is a curvature this is actually a curve profile so what i'm going to do as a dimension has not been provided so what i will do is I'm going to this is profile one right so pro, go to profile one and it's, instead of connected select direction then it will ask you about the direction the, the more you move the more it get tangent to the first profile so I am going to make this 50 I think yeah this is good and press ok now once done what I am going to do is I am going to make the if I just look from the side view uh, here's the side view uh, user has also not provided us the uh, this cutout dimension so what I am going to do I am going to make a cutout like this so for that go to side view again uh, we will begin with a construction line and now what I am going to do is I am going to project this point and this point and press ok now from this point I am going to make a line like this and join these two points uh, again I need to probe I need to project uh, this point 
and the bottom also we press ok and just click on lookout now I can just I cannot project on this point so I'm going to join this line and from this very point to this point I'm going to uh, create this close sketch now again go to mirror command select uh, uh, the switch of the body for now uh, select these three lines switch on the body the mirror line would be this and press ok now click on finish the sketch switch of the body and go to extrude select this and this switch on the bodies extrude cut it and the distance would be symmetric like this and press ok now once done now the only thing is left to give some radius so provide fillet select these profile like I am doing so the radius value is also not been provided by the user so I am going to make it radius of 5 ml for now you guys can change that so once done now the only thing is left to give the thickness so click on shell select the top face and the bottom face and the, in, the thickness type would be inside and the thickness was 3 mm and press ok and you guys can see yeah, our component has been made so now we have to make a, a few more fillets to lift it to, so that it looks more good so now the only thing left is to make this uh, make this slot so this dimension is given here I think it's very clear so for that just go to front view again draw a line like this and what I'm going to do is create a center rectangle this is the center rectangle so just slide it so that we can look inside the sketch and you can see the dimension here is the outer dimension is 12 and the height is 9 and the distance from the bottom is 7.5 so press D and from the bottom give it a dimension of 7.5 this is going to be 12 this is going to be 9 now the for internal dimension as you guys can see the internal is 10 so it's basically this profile gets offset by 1 mm so go to offset modify offset select this and offset it inside up to a distance of minus 1 like this now all you need to do is join this line to this line this line to this line and click on finish the sketch now click on extrude select this profile and select the dimension as symmetric direction and extrude cut and press ok now the only thing now the uh, we have left with is to make this uh, triangular profile in this lock so for that what I am going to do is I am going to construct a plane a plane uh, a plane and a long path and the path would be this so you can can, can any anywhere place it and press ok now again click on select a sketch and select this profile to view just click on slice now what I'm got go, going to do is I'm going to make a, a line from make that triangle from this very point like this to this and I'm going to join this line the dimension of the triangle has not been provided so I'm going to make it an imaginary triangle like this like I'm doing you guys can and give it any dimension but I don't want to waste your time here so basically now nah, you guys can give it a dimension of 1 mm to 2 mm I think that would be enough the purpose is just to show you the trick so just click on finish the sketch now once done you guys can see our triangle has been created go to create go to swift select this profile and the path is going to be this line and press ok now uh, for the other side you don't have to make that uh, again go to simply go to mirror and the mirror type is going to be feature because it's a feature so swipe it's a feature so what I'm going to do is select the object from swift and the mirror plane is going to be our uh, default x y x z plane and click on ok now you guys can see uh, it get created here as well and press ok now so here it will look like the part as given by the 
uh, dimension here. So hope you guys will enjoy the video. Please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.